The skill scenario is a collaborative effort. You will be working as an EMS team of two. Rescuer one, first on scene, will do the assessment. Rescuer two, second on scene, will be delegated tasks such as vitals and treatment by rescuer one. During the scenarios, rescuers shall wear appropriate PPE and use all equipment to take vitals and perform procedures. The scenario will conclude with the patient report to higher medical authority. You may now check your equipment. Childbirth and neonatal resuscitation scenario. You respond to the report of an adult female giving birth in the bathroom. When you arrive on scene, the mother is holding her newborn. I have my BSI on. Is my scene safe? You're inside the bathrooms and the scene is safe. How many patients do I have? You have two patients. All right, the mother just gave birth. There's no mechanism of injury or nature of illness at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and request additional resources. Resources are on route. What is the general impression of my patient? She's holding her newborn. The mother looks worried. Based on this presentation, I would say that the patient is in mild to moderate distress. As I approach my patient, does she look up at me? The patient sees you. Hi, hi ma'am, my name is Francis. I'm an EMT, I'm here to help. Um, what is your first and last name? Emily. When's your date of birth? July 1st, 99. All right, can we look at your child? Could I assess him? All right, while I assess the child, you go ahead and cut the umbilical cord, okay? So I'm assessing the child's appearance, breathing, and circulation. Uh, what are my findings? The newborn has a weak cry, central cyanosis, with a heart rate of 80 and is not moving. Okay. So this child needs to be uh, ventilated. Can you hand me the infant BVM? I'm going to ventilate the infant for 30 seconds on room air and then reassess. It's been 30 seconds. I'm going to reassess the baby's appearance, breathing, and circulation. And what are my findings? The newborn has a strong cry, peripheral cyanosis with a heart rate of 120 and is moving. Good. Uh, so the infant is now stable. I'm going to prepare the infant to hand off back to the mom. Here you go. Um, I'm going to assess the mom's airway. Uh, her airway is patent since she's able to speak to me clearly. I'm going to assess the mom's breathing rate and tidal volume. Is it adequate? It is adequate. I'm also going to assess the mom's heart rate and quality and skin signs. What are my findings? The patient has a palpable radial pulse with a normal heart rate. Skin signs are normal. At this point, we're going to go ahead and take some vitals. Okay. You go ahead and take blood pressure. I'll get pulse ox. I have vitals when you're ready. Your patient's blood pressure is 140 over 80, heart rate is 110, respiration rate is 20, O2 saturation is at 98%, skin is pink, warm, and sweaty. Paramedics arrive on scene. So we arrived on scene to find a mother who gave birth inside the bathroom. Uh, we assessed the child and found that the appearance, breathing, and circulation was inadequate. So we went ahead and ventilated the child for 30 seconds on room air via BVM. Once we reassessed the child, we found that the vitals were in normal ranges. At this point, the mother has not delivered the placenta yet, um, but both patients are ready for transport. Okay.